Hello everyone, so today I will discuss question 4 um, for the Mengkyo Pochutan and from the question, we get the information angle from horizontal is 32 degree and we mark here as 32 degree then the initial velocity u equal to 15 so we write here u equal to 15 then the third information is point m from ground is 2.62 meter so we write here as y equal to 2.62 meter then the next step is we resolve u and we get u y equal to u sine theta u x equal to u cos theta then the next step is we use the equation s y equal to u y t minus 1 over 2 g t squared and we substitute s y u y and g then we get the quadratic equation and we press the calculator and we get d1 equal to 0 0.46 which means is the time for the first time above 2.62 meter and d2 equal to 1.16 so this is the second time above 2.62 meter then the point m is the second time to of reaching above the uh, from ground 2.62 meter so the time taken to reach point m is 1.16 answer is b okay that's all and thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh so untuk soalan ni dia cakap the frequency of whistle by a moving train and the frequency heard by a stationary observer are 420 Hz and 460 Hz respectively. If the speed of sound in the air is 343 ms negative 1, calculate the speed of train. So basically, soalan ni dia dah bagi maklumat frequency of whistle by a moving train, frequency heard by a stationary observer which is 520 and 460 and dia beri speed of sound air and the next speed of train so so kalau kita tengok step pertama kita akan keluarkan maklumat dia iaitu 520fs kita 520hz fo kita 460hz v sound air kita 343ms negatif 1 dan vs macam ni kita tahu fs kita 520 sebab kita punya frequency of whistle adalah moving train. Moving train kita 520. Moving um apa benda yang keluarkan bunyi ni adalah source. Okay. So tu step pertama kita adalah keluarkan maklumat. Step kedua kita kita akan pakai formula nombor 58 dalam this of constant formula which is fo sama dengan f plus minus vo over v plus minus vs fs ok so kita dah tahu 460 and 520 vo kita kosong and kita nak determine plus minus dia so macam mana nak determine plus minus dia kita buat macam ni sebab kalau perasan dia punya ini dengan ini kan sama dengan kan so bila kita macam graphi dia f o in directly proportional macam ni f o directly proportional to 1 over v plus v s so kalau directly proportional kalau ni increase ini pun increase so sebab tu simbol dia plus ok and then step ketiga lepas kita dah tahu dia plus kan kita masukkanlah dalam formula dia nilai-nilai uh, dia c sepat nak kosong 5 dua kosong v dia dah bagi tau v dah bagi so v dia lah 3 4 3 so 3 4 3 tambah vs darat 5 dua kosong sama dengan 4 6 kosong so korang punya jawapan vs korang ialah 4.74 So, jawapan akhir dia adalah B. So, jom kita tengok ini. So, jawapan dia adalah sorry B. 
uh, Okay, itu je Thank you Okay, untuk soalan pecutan Nombor hmm. satu uh, soalan, kata, soalan kata What is the mention of the constancy given in the equation V squared minus CX plus D If V is velocity X is distance variable And is constant So, dia bagi kita equation Lepas tu kita baca balik Iaitu D is constant So, dalam equation V squared Equal to CX plus D tu D tu kosong sebab dia constant Lepas tu dia nak cari C So V squared equal to CX uh, Bila kita susun balik untuk dapatkan C Kita akan dapat C equal to V squared over X At the same time V sama dengan MS So V ialah LT neg negative uh, dimension dia LT negative power negative 1 So X dimension dia L So kita masukkan uh, Dalam tu balik uh, In bracket LT power negative 1 Tutup bracket Uh, squared over L Lepas tu kita masukkan kuasa 2 Dalam bracket Kita, kita akan dapat L squared T power of negative 2 Over L So bila, bila kita potong L bawah tu dengan kuasa 2 Kita akan dapat L T power negative 2 So jawapan kita ialah B